This is a tap now. Yeah. What did you have a look at? You got the view over to Coniston that way. Oh, Overston's that way. The last two times, the sun hasn't come up on that side for a while. But do whatever you two want to do. Yeah. What do you want to see? That side or Overston? Overston? Is that the view you wanted? Don't know. That's what I showed you. Yeah. We're back out in the lakes again today and I've come back up onto Lowick Common. I came here in a video on Christmas Eve and we're getting photos of cloud inversions down over Coniston. I think last time I spent almost all of the video over there and we're using the 400 mil, getting some close-ups of the clouds and some wide shots looking over the whole valley. And then briefly, I came over to this, to this side and then got a photo onto this side with the view over to Ulverston. I spent about 30 seconds in the video on this shot, but that photo seems to be in people's favorites over on Reddit and Facebook. So this side of the valley is actually a lot nicer this morning. So we're gonna spend all our time here now, I come up for the sunrise and it's behind them clouds there, but as the sun is rising, this cloud is getting bigger. But hopefully that sun breaks out from behind the cloud and we get some nice side light onto these fields and then it'll light up all the frosty ground down there. This is a shot that I've been wanting to get for my greetings cards. I've got a gap in the Ulverston range and that's why I keep coming back here. So I'm just going to wait here and then hopefully that sun comes out. It keeps looking like it's going to break, but it hasn't actually happened yet. It's got to come up eventually. I just had a quick wander up onto the top and the sun has broken out onto Connor Snowman and Del Crag. It doesn't seem to have changed that much in these fields though. And I know what's going to happen if I leave here and go and get photos over there that sun is going to break out and i'm going to have to rush back that's what happened last time and yeah it's just sad though the last time i came up it was perfect there was cloud inversions it wasn't that cold and it was really clear that you could see over to ingleborough today it's quite hazy it's quite cold there's a bit of a wind in the air and yeah, it's not really lived up to the hype. I probably should have brought my parents last time, but it's sad like whenever you bring someone else, it generally doesn't work out like you hope it would. But it's still pretty nice. Saying that though, I've taken them out a few times lately and I haven't videoed it. I probably should have done because it worked out really nice. And some of them photos are actually available as prints over at adamcaffer.co.uk and we went into the woods and it was really misty and it's probably the best I've seen it. But got some nice sandy photos in there. Got some misty tree photos and just had a bit of a wander. It's sometimes quite nice to just have a wander without thinking about it too much. But going to stay here for a few more minutes and I'm going to probably go for a portrait shot. There is also a a field off the right hand side which is sort of a heart shape and it works quite nice in a landscape shot when you do it that way and I think that might work better on the greetings cards I've only got one no I've got two portrait shot ones but the landscape ones seem to be more popular so maybe there's something in that I tricked it I went up there and it's come out now. I went up there and I ran back and it's worked out. The sun has broken out and looking over there now, the back fields are darker. Then as you come this way, it gets lighter. So it's graduating from dark to light. There's a subtle sunrise glow behind it. Um, sort of 
like these colours here, which I actually prefer. Not a big fan of the sunrise colours usually, but I do like the softer light. But I think we're going to have to do this quickly because that sun has just come out really harshly and maybe that'll work out as a good thing. We might get some nice shadows, but I'm going to put you down for a second, get this, because it's taken an hour to get to this point. Well, I'm just standing here. So for this first one, going for a portrait, you've got the road zigzagging its way through and then you've got Horde at the top. Doesn't look quite as frosty now, but maybe that's just because of the, the sunrise, like the glow. But it does look a lot nicer. We'll move over to a, a landscape shot now as well. Get that field in off to the right and then go for a little wander. You right? Going for a slightly wider shot than I first expected. Now that sun's come up, the fields on the right hand side, like some of them are uh, glowing really greenly. Not sure that's a phrase, but um, yeah. A little bit further to the right this time, but I think it's going to work out nicer. Then it adds some details into the background. I'm happy with this. Yeah. It's, It didn't look promising, did it? Is yours working now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I needed to get you up at six. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't last very long, but that sun did eventually come out and it worked out pretty nice. It lit up the middle field the most think because it's coming in from that side and a few of the fields on the right hand side and then back fields hasn't really touched hold that much but that's that's what I had in my head so hopefully there'll be a greetings card with that scene on either from this trip or the last one I'm not too sure which ones I prefer yet but we're going to head up onto the top and head back down that way so I'm going to end this one here and if I get any more photos, I'll put them on the end of this video or I'll do a blog post over at adamcapper.co.uk. But I hope you liked the video. Didn't do as much wandering around this time, but it was quite a nice view over there, so didn't really need to. But I hope you liked the video. Um, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more things like this. And I'll see you next time.